Mark and Craig, Pop Brothers at Law. Listen to a couple of these audios that we got from some followers who utilized the script and maintained their rights, even though the cops were being abusive and even called one of them a dick. Listen up. How much have you been smoking? Uh, I'm not discussing it, dude. Where are you going? I'm not discussing my day. Huh? I'm not discussing my day. No, I'm just asking. You. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't want to answer that question. Okay. Is that weed on the side here? Uh, I don't know. I'm not discussing my day. Okay. Well, you know it's illegal to have marijuana inside your car, in the, uh, without the proper container. I'm not discussing anything, sir. Okay. So he's being a dick a little bit. So. All right, man, check this out. Go ahead and step out for me. Can you tell me why? Uh, yeah, I'll tell you right now in a second. Step out. I just want to know what I did. Okay. I can smell marijuana coming from the car. I'm going to search it. In California, smell is not probable cause. Yeah, it is. No, it is not. Yeah, it is. I can verify how much there is in the vehicle. I asked you if you guys smoked. You told me you're not going to discuss your day, so I guess I'll find out by myself. Go ahead and step out. That's fair. All right. If you would have just told me... I'm recording just so you know, right. just for both of us. Leave this in the car. Okay. So, in both those instances, they stuck to their guns, they stuck to the script, they didn't let the cop intimidate them, even though one called the guy a dick, and the other cop said, thought he knew the law better than what we teach, which is smell in California is not probable cause. Alone. So, what happened in both those instances. One of them who got pulled over for not having proper registration got a ticket for registration. They searched the car, found about an eighth of weed, and then gave it back. That's the cop who said smell was probable cause. I wonder why he didn't take the weed. Or give him a ticket for open container. Didn't do that either. They just wrote him off for the registration. The other guy who got pulled over and called him a dick for asserting his rights, he ended up with an open container, but we think the search was illegal and we're gonna be fighting that case. All over a roach too that the cop found. Right, one little roach. So you gotta be careful out there and, and stick to your guns. Don't let the cops intimidate you. You hear it. They're gonna claim they know the law better. And these guys did it very politely, invoked their, uh, invoked the script and invoked their rights. And it should be known. We're gonna fight these tickets, uh, traffic tickets. We're gonna go to battle with these to make sure that everybody's safe. When you invoke your rights, you're not being a dick. And these guys clearly were not being dicks. They were very polite. It was a great example of what to do. Stand up for your rights. The more people that do this, the lesser cops can be able to fuck with us. And stay tuned because we're going to give Mr. Checkpoint this information along with their badge numbers and names. And we're going to call out these officers from Costa Mesa and Albany, California. That's where these two uh, instances happen. So there you go. That's the tip of the day.